Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. A lot of you may be trying to get Legion's new fishing artifact, the Underlight Angler. So in this video, I thought I'd show you the fastest way to get it. As you may know, to get this, there are a few requirements. You have to be level 110, you have to have a fishing skill of 800, and you have to get the Bigger Fish to Fry achievement, which requires you to catch 18 rare fish spread throughout the Broken Isles. To catch these fish, you first have to catch rare bait. For example, to catch the rare Nartholus Hermit in Asuna, you have to first fish up the Pearlescent Conch. After you use this, you get a 2 minute buff that allows you to fish up the Hermit. So depending on your luck, normally you'd spend an upwards of a couple of hours in each zone trying to get all of these baits and fish. But something that a lot of people don't realize is that all this bait isn't soulbound, so you can just buy it off of the auction house. Like I mentioned, there are 18 different baits to account for each rare fish, and there's 3 in each zone. And that's Asuna, Valshara, High Mountain, Stormheim, Suramar, and the Oceanic Waters which you can find on the coast of any of those zones. For Asuna, you need to buy the Aromatic Murloc Slime for the Lay Shimmer Blenny, the Pearlescent Conch for the Nartholus Hermit, and the Rusted Queenfish Brooch for the Ghostly Queenfish. The Ghostly Queenfish is a special case. Instead of being fishable from anywhere in the zone like everything else, you have to fish it from specific pools that you can only see after using the brooch. They're spread throughout the zone, but I found mine at coordinates 5536 in the lake near the Nartholus Academy. Anyways, for Valshara, you need to buy the Rotten Fishbone for the Ancient Mosquil, the Drowned Thistle Leaf for the Thorned Flounder, and the Nightmare Nightcrawler for the Terrorfin. For High Mountain, go ahead and pick up the Swollen Murloc Egg for the Mountain Puffer, the Salmon Lure for the Ancient High Mountain Salmon, and the Frostworm for the Cold River Carp. And for Stormheim, grab the Soggy Drake Skill for the Grey Belly Lobster, and the Silver Scale Minnow or the Moose Horn Hook for the Thundering Storm Ray. You can buy either of these because this is a special case. The Moose Horn Hook allows you to catch the Silver Scale Minnow, and that allows you to catch the Thundering Storm Ray, so either will work. And for our third Stormheim fish, similar to the Brooch in Asuna, you need the Ancient Vrykul Ring to see the Oodlefiesk in pools for the Oodlefiesk. I found my pool at coordinates 4662. For Suramar, pick up the Enchanted Lure for the Magic Eater Frog, the Demonic Detritus for the Tainted Runescale Koi, and the Sleeping Murloc for the Searspine Puffer. When you use the Sleeping Murloc, it'll panic and run away, leaving some fish behind. Just walk over the fish to loot them, and you should pick up a Searspine Puffer in the process. For the Oceanic Fish, to see if you're in the right spot, make sure you look for Ancient Black Barracuda Pools. If you see those around you, you should be in Oceanic Waters. Unfortunately, you can only buy two of the three baits. Buy the Axefish Lure for the Axefish, and either the Ravenous Fly or the Decayed Whale Blubber for the Ancient Black Barracuda. When you use the Whale Blubber, it'll attract a Ravenous Fly which you can loot by clicking on it. So just like the Thundering Storm Ray, either will work. And the last one you need to get is the Sea Bottom Squid. To get this, you need to fish up the Stunned Angry Shark, which like I mentioned is the only one you can't buy off of the Auction House. This is because it has a 1 minute timer before it disappears from your inventory. But after you use it, it spawns a shark for you to kill and you'll loot the squid from its corpse. So if you want to save a little gold, you may want to try fishing up the shark first before you buy anything since you may end up getting the other baits anyways. You may also want to pick up some arcane lures from Conjurer Margas. I'll have a link to this NPC in the description if you don't know about him yet. Remember, you can fish up the shark in oceanic waters, but you have a higher chance to get it from the Black Barracuda schools. That's the case for all of the bait, but it also seems like the same is true for all of the rare fish. From my personal experience, I've had a way easier time fishing these up from pools, so to maximize your chances of getting them, wait until you find a node to fish from before you use your baits. But with that, you should have the bigger fish to fry achievement knocked out. The total price of this will vary depending on your server, but I think a realistic number would be around 10 to 20,000 gold for most servers. The only other requirement, as long as you're 110 already, is that you need 800 fishing. The fastest way to go about getting this is to get more bait and to catch rare fish because, as I'm sure you've noticed when you use these fish, they give you 5 points in your fishing skill. So you should be pretty close to this if you've been fishing for the entire duration of all of the baits you bought if you're not 800 already. But the best baits to buy for this are either the Vrykul Rings or the Rusty Queenfish Brooches because the fishing pools never despawn. So you can generally pick up 15 to 20 rare fish per item which is around 75 to 100 skill points each. But once you have that, the achievement, and you're level 110, you're able to fish up a quest starter called the Luminous Pearl. It's random, so it'll depend on your luck, but keep in mind that you need to fish it from pools to be able to get it. You can get it from any zone, but not from the open waters. And from there, you follow a pretty short and straightforward quest chain to finally unlock the Underlight Angler. This is where I'll end the video, since I mainly wanted to cover that bigger fish to fry achievement. Plus, I already covered this more thoroughly in my full-on Underlight Angler guide that I made back in the beta. So if you need more information about that, I'll have a link to it at the end of this video. But that's about all I have to say, I guess. Thanks for checking out the video, and grats on your angler. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace.